This kid had a demon. Watch this. Identity. You must leave him. Now, in Jesus' name. Yes. You must leave him. Yes. I break every generational curse off of him now. If you believe in Jesus, subscribe now for more. And go watch the video that I pinned in the comments to learn the truth about demons. Now the first thing I want to say is thank you for your time. And the second thing that I want to say is don't be doing that to your children. Number one, it's on video, the whole world seeing it. That child is going to grow up and regret that experience and it's going to be posted all over the internet for everybody to see and so parents should not put their children through that number three the parent the dad figure had a shirt on that said something about christ and so this tells us it's not their first time this is not just some random individuals walking up and getting a demon cast out of their son these are individuals who go to events like this this is probably not the first time but you know what i hope that it is the last time now it is true in the bible that jesus cast a demon out of a young child and so demon possession in the bible did not mean that a person was condemned because god loves children but the purpose of jesus casting out demons was something that had never been done before just like jesus opening the eyes of one who had been born blind and the purpose was to show that the kingdom of god the reign of the Messiah, when he would rule over all nations, that it was going to come to pass in the first century. And the only way that individuals could receive a miraculous ability, such as casting out demons, was if Jesus gave them authority to do so. Like in the lifetime of Jesus, before he died, Jesus gave authority to his apostles and also 70 disciples in order to do things like that, like cast out demons. But demon possession is not something that has been around since the first uh, year of creation with Adam and Eve. And so it was something that occurred later on in a certain point of time, such as the first century. And the purpose was to prove that the kingdom of God was on the verge of occurring at any moment. And we learned it did occur within four years time of John the Baptist beginning preaching repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand jesus died he resurrected he walked the earth for 40 days and then he ascended into his heavenly kingdom and since then individuals have been able to experience the new testament blessings of being in the body of christ and so once jesus ascended into heaven jesus gave all authority um, over certain things to his apostles and uh, in the reference of the ability to do miracles as mentioned in mark chapter 16 verses 17 through 20 and anyone any baptized believer who the apostles laid hands on according to Acts chapter 8 would also be able to receive miraculous abilities such as what we read about the apostles doing but those who had hands laid on them could not lay hands on other individuals and also give them the ability to perform miracles and so we see this lady out in public claiming to do these miracles such as casting out demons out of children but no apostle is alive to lay hands on her and anyone who had hands laid on them could not give the miraculous ability to someone through their laying on hands because they're not apostles and so just by that point alone just by the fact alone that you need an apostle to lay hands on you and nobody laid hands on this woman that shows that whatever they're doing miraculously in the name of the Lord is not of the Lord. The Lord himself has nothing to do with that. And Jesus said on the day of judgment, many individuals will be deceived into thinking that they did miracles in the name of Christ. And they will say, did we not do many mighty wonders in your name, many miracles and signs in your name. And Jesus will say, depart from me. I never knew you, you who work iniquity, which shows that they should not have been doing those things. There were things that they're practicing that they should not be practicing. And the fact that we see these individuals doing this to a child is horrible. I would never put my child through that. And so obviously there's decisions we make in life that we cannot take back. You have to deal with the consequences of it for. But I hope that those parents see this video. I hope that those parents understand that what they put their child through is not only embarrassing, but they should feel ashamed for it. And they should repent for putting their child through that. And we see this lady saying, 
come out now in Jesus' name. And so and they're breaking generational curses upon the children. Well, the parents are standing right there. Why not just break generational curses on the parents? Why are you as if the parents are still cursed? Right? Because you're breaking the generational curse upon the child. What about the parents? You don't do anything for the parents. But that whole thing about generational curses, that's not in the Bible. You have parents who can be disobedient and their children can become obedient. You have parents who are obedient and the, the children can be disobedient to the Lord. Or you have obedient parents and the children can be obedient. Or you have disobedient parents and the children can be disobedient also. And so you do not have to follow the pattern of your parents. If your parents do not follow God, you can change that. But there's no such thing as generational curses that need to be broken. You either have the decision to follow God or to disobey God. And it has nothing to do with your parents. Everyone who reaches an age of accountability is able to no longer be under the authority of their parents and they're able to act on the authority of their own. And according to the Bible, what you just seen in that video, God is not pleased with that. God is not pleased with what that woman was teaching their those two parents' ch children to do. And you see, she said, come out now in the name of Jesus. And then 20 seconds passed by and so this supposed demon was still in his child. And then she said, one, two, three, and the child fell. Now, why did she do that? Well, because every child knows that if you count to three, if somebody counts to three and you don't do what they want them to do, you're going to be in trouble. Maybe a timeout, maybe a spanking. But why does she count one, two, three? Well, because it's a child and the child knows that on three, I better do what it is that they're telling me. And she's all demon come out now and child shaking his head. No. It's nowhere in the Bible. None of that stuff is anywhere in the Bible. In the Bible, when they cast out demons, it happened the exact moment with the word. It occurred with the word. And so this woman had to repeat the word multiple times. Why? Because it's nothing more than acting. And it's a shame that they're teaching this child to act so young and he's going to grow up deceived and it's going to be harder for him to get out of this because he's going to look back and say, well, I'm going to have to admit my parents were wrong too. So it's up to the parents to admit their error and train their children before their children get too old because you're only making it harder on your children. And then you're making it harder on my children because my children are going to have to tell your children that you were wrong for making them do those things. And so it all starts with you right now. Stop doing that. There's no apostles alive today. And everybody who had a demon in them in the first century, you read the book of Acts. All of them were cast out. There's no more people possessed with demons. And if they are, then they're hopeless because there's no apostles alive today. And there's nobody who has had hands laid on them by an apostle. And so let's get rid of this foolishness. Let's start with changing our family, uh, a husband and a wife and raising their children the right way and trying to reach out to our neighbors and explain to them the ways of the Lord. So that way they don't become involved in this foolishness and ruin the community because that's what it's doing. That's corrupting the minds of the children. It's corrupting the simplicity of the gospel of Christ and it's ruining the community. It's ruining the next generation and you are deceiving. It's not from the Lord. It's not from God. That's from the devil. That whole video that you saw is all deception and it's from the devil. And God is not pleased with it. God is pleased when we expose wickedness like that. And I just hope that child doesn't grow up scarred from um, the internet and people in this community seeing him saying, look, that's the child that had a demon when he's younger. And oftentimes those people who claim to have demons, they come back the next Sunday. And what are they doing? The same thing. They're doing the same thing, having another demon cast out of them. And it's a repeating cycle. And then next thing you know, when he has children, he's going to teach his children the same thing that they're possessed with a demon. And it's horrible. It's evil and it's wicked and it's not good. So we need to stay away from it and teach against it. God bless you. Thank you. I hope you learned the truth. Very simple and it's very effective. Have a nice day.